Tonight, tonight we're gonna have our um, weekly brown talks with Juan Jr. right here, and he'll be um, playing us a piece of his own, and he can tell us what talking about it. So, enjoy. things that I learned about myself through composing. So, okay, I think the first point I want to talk about is, you know, music today, everyone plays a musical instrument, right? I mean, raise your hand if you play a musical instrument, study professionally, yeah, anyone does. And I was, I was in that same boat uh, not too long ago. Um, I played cello. I've been playing cello for like eight years now, so I've been doing it. It's been a pretty big commitment. And I was just like, you know, practicing, practice, 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 do competitions, and you know, it gets, it gets kind of boring, I think. Um, there's always, it's kind of like, in my mind, it's kind of like, you're copying, you're copying someone else's music, even though you're not technically, you're in your own interpretations, but it gets boring to some extent. It's become something unoriginal. Um, so, I don't know, kind of like in school, if you, if you guys can follow me, when you're in school, you're learning a bunch of like math equations or something, and you like have all these formulas in your head, and all you can do is just learn to copy them down, and that's like really it. You can't, you just, you don't really like think about it. So, not too long ago, about a year ago, I really wanted to see what it took to compose a song, and it was long and arduous journey. I came home literally every day after school, and just tinkled, tinkled around on the piano for like hours on end, and I made a song, but. I think the point is that after studying how a song is made and studying, like experimenting on my own, I realized, you know, how much more, how much like deeper music is when you study it from that perspective, other than just like copying and playing someone else's music. You basically just get a much greater appreciation for it. And the uh, second thing I want to talk about music is that it also. This is, okay, this is a very personal thing that I discovered on the way. I think a lot of, a lot of you guys will s kind of feel the same way, but... What? Go be in poet, as in, um, got it. So, uh, so, in my mind, as of like a year ago, in my mind, there were only like two types of people in this world. There are the geniuses who can do everything, they really just... It just clicks for them, you know? Please tell me you guys have someone in, like, your classes where it's just, like, that dude who just, like, gets everything, and they, they just make it seem so effortless. So I thought the world was composed of only those people and everyone else who are just, like, complete idiots, but are trying to be those kinds of people. And as I was composing, I, like, did my own research. Um, Beethoven is one of my favorite composers, and I researched a lot about him. So one of the things I've noticed is that Beethoven was not a musical genius by any means. Um, if anything, I think he was a hard worker preceding everything else that follows. So like literally, if you read his biography, he would go out in the mornings, like he would wake up at like 5 a.m. and go on these long walks and have a little notebook and sketch down his little musical ideas. Mm -hmm. And then just like work, 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 like at his little desk all day long until he like has a piece. And it was a super long process for him, but you don't really think about that. When we think of Beethoven, you normally think some, oh, he's like some genius who just sat down in his chair and just, this music spewed out from his head onto paper. But I realized that through composing and making my own song that it's, um, it's a lot more about passion and hard work before anything. Um, even, if, even if you're not, I don't think there is such thing as a genius in this world. I don't think there's anything like a musical genius there's only the people who are passionate and the people who aren't. And the people who are passionate are the ones who are hard workers and become the Beethovens and transcend time. So uh, with that, I'll, I guess I'll perform. This is my first written piece that I've like, uh, I like actually wrote down. I know I make law songs, but this is a cello sonata, number one, uh, opus one, a pathetique, which means 
Does anyone know what pathetic means? Like it's actual like definition. I know you say like, oh, you're pathetic, but like there's an actual like meaning. Okay, well pathetic, pathetic means of uh, or portraying like great emotion. So hopefully you guys will get a sense of that when I play this. And the piece is four movements long. Um, you don't have to clap in between every one of them. In fact, I encourage you not to clap. It's rude. But, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Oh, and sorry, my my goodness. This is Lucas. Um, he is a junior, and he's probably the best cellist I've ever met here at Duke so far. So give a hand for him. It's really lengthy too, so um, if you guys like have to leave or something in the middle of it, I won't be offended.
you guys for coming. Um, <laughs> uh, how about one more hand for Lucas here? <laughs> Yes, they have names. They're on the Facebook thing. I can't, I don't even remember them. <laughs> well, thank you guys. That means a lot to me. Um, I think, I don't know. It's kind of, it feels good because it's, this piece has taken me like, I don't know, like a year in the making, basically. So it's like giving birth to a child. It's finally, it's finally free. <laughs> Yeah, thank you again so much for coming. I guess there's drinks. And I guess I can give autograph. Do you want to say one hop? No. Yeah, like inspirational. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the lighter notes? Like, like, what it's about? Wait, what? Wait, sorry, sing or talk? Wait, so <laughs> they ask for inspiration. Oh, oh. Yeah. What, what kind of inspiration? Insane. Or you can sing that. No. You can sing your inspiration. Uh -huh. um, well, like I said, I mean, I, this piece obviously took a really long time. It was just... I wish I could tell you some, like, crazy story behind it. Like, some crazy thing happened to me and then I got inspired and wrote it. But it was, I think it was bits and pieces. Little, little tiny inspirations along the way to build it up what it was. Um, yeah, it was just mostly a lot of hard work, like I said before. Um, writing it down is really hard, too, because you have to, like, write out the notes and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so I encourage you guys to uh, go out there and find out your own form of composing, whatever that might be. Whether it's, like, for a math class, if they give you a really complicated theorem, maybe you can go and try and figure out, figure out what that's all about, you know? Really dig deep and find your own inspiration, and yeah, that's all I can. Thanks.